So let's take you where I promised you. Now, you have a specific image. Now, again, I talked to, about this in more detail at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Afternoon, we'll register for that. We can talk more details about custom ceilings and cathedral ceilings. Uh, I talked more in detail about uh, this feature of adding a custom material to your walls, which came out, like I said, about five months ago inside floor plan. It's been in there waiting for you if you didn't know where to put it. Maybe you didn't know where to find it. Um, but this is what you do. So you go back to 2D. And let's say at this end wall, we want to go ahead and put a custom wallpaper that we went online, found a custom wallpaper, and we wanted to apply it to the wall, not one of the selected wallpapers that Floor Planner supplies you with. So you would think you would go over here, go, oh, well, sure, we'll go into materials, and we'll go in here, we'll go down to like wallpaper. You can drag and drop these over here, that's fine. But this is not a custom wallpaper. This is not your wallpaper. To do and actually upload your material, you're going to go ahead and select the, the wall that you want to put the material on. Here's a wall, and if there's two surfaces, outside and inside. So if I pick this wall, you get an editor window on the left-hand side. Um, and these, again, we're working with the new 2021 version, so some of these things are still amazing. Me going, oh, there's some really cool new features in here. Um, you can actually view one side and you can do the other side. Okay, well that's fine. Assuming that that looks a little smaller than that one, I'm gonna bet that that material number one might be on the inside. Typically when we draft out these rooms, uh, what material number one or two, uh, which is the inside of the room, which is the outside of the room, um, seems to alternate that much, much like in drafting in AutoCAD and Revit and other software is that the way you draft it, either clockwise or counterclockwise, flips as to which one is which surface. So you got a 50-50 chance on here, but for the most part, mine is usually material two on the inside. Let's take a peek, see if we can do this correctly. Um, to make that so, I just want to take a peek real quick. So I take out here, just want to colorize the wall and see if by any chance I've got this. Okay. That obviously was the exterior wall because we look outside. There we painted a wall on the outside. Okay, let's go back to 2D. Pick our wall. So this, this item obviously is our outside, and this item up here is obviously our inside. So this these icons on the right hand side, these picture windows, is where you upload your material. So yes, this first list up here will be my interior wall there's no material on it currently. To upload a, upload a material specific to go there, you select one of these two pictures. I'm going to pick this one because it's for the inside. Now, this is where you're going to upload your JPEG image or PNG image that you want to apply to your wall. When you go searching, because they choose file, when you go searching for the image you want to upload, take it into your computer or your device and upload it to the project. The, the image you're trying to find of a wallpaper material finish or something is called a seamless sample. You can do any sample you want to, but to help you so it repeats beautifully on your wall and looks continuous, continuous without interruption, a seamless wallpaper sample digital is uh, the full pattern repeat plus the fact that when it repeats itself left and right, it's continuous and above and below. So it's a little bit more than just a full pattern repeat. I did find, for example, and I've uploaded one already, uh, Seabrook wall coverings happens to have uh, seamless samples of their fit. So check with your vendor, see if they have them. Otherwise, you need to do a little Photoshop editing. Or don't worry about it. It's just a matter of what you're trying to achieve. But this particular Se Seabrook wall coverings had this fern pattern, this little beige fern. Um, I downloaded it to my computer. And then I did the choose file and I put it inside my program. So here it is. First thing it's going to do is try to fill this wall. This is the first time in floor planner with this feature where you actually have straight on parallel images of your wall. Um, otherwise you're going to do perspective images. They look somewhat straight on, but this is really a true parallel image right here, this gray square. So we're going to apply this material here. We're going to select this material to be applied. Okay. So there it is. First thing it's going to try to do is it's going to try to fill the wall completely. Great. Looks beautiful, except it's not the right scale. So 
So you have a pull down menu over here beyond fill. There's other options. So if you do the pull down menu, go from fill, you can all of a sudden go to something called free. So you did fill, but go to free. At free, you can actually change the scale of the sample. If your vendor actually told you the seamless sample digital represents X number of inches wide, which is high, you can actually enter that information here, or you could visually eye it up knowing that you have a 10 foot high ceiling. You could adjust it visually if they didn't tell you the dimensions. I, I happen to know the dimensions I want to work with with this sample specific. So I'm going to make these modifications now and show you that we're just going to resize the sample. Cool. Then I hit enter and there it is. So my sample looks proportionally correct. It's good to go. It's going to repeat beautifully because it's a seamless sample. And and so once I have that in there, I've gone from fill to free. From free, I can talk about it either tilizing uh, horizontally or vertically duplicating or in both directions, which will make entire wallpaper fall. So I can say go ahead and tile in both directions, tile both. Voila. This is where it gets counterintuitive, a little spooky. Uh, this is where I started looking at this going, hey, where's the done button? I agree button. I accept button. Um, counterintuitive part is you actually close the window. So once it all looks good, you can go ahead and hit this close button of this window, not the program window, because if you do and you haven't saved your file, you'll lose your work. Upper right hand corner, there is this close for the whole project. No, no, no. Stay within the window you're working in. This, this is where you're gonna close it. And it's already applied it to the wall. You can actually see this is a new feature with the 2021, you can actually see that it is applied to that one. See the sample in the, in the window selection here on the left-hand side. Nice new feature, I like that. Um, when you go into 3D, um, do a bird's eye view for a second. We, you can see that we applied to that wall. We can go ahead and go inside with our little walking man and twirl around the space and arrow back. You can see, like in the first time in Floor Planner, that you've actually taken your own material selection and applied it to your wall and uploaded it to the program. Very powerful. Um, and scaling feature. Remember, you can do this with JPEGs, you can do this with PNG images. PNG images work like decals. They have a transparency to them. They have like client logo and you want to put that on the wall. You can do this with uh, client specific art, things that you may have photographed that you want to not just use Floor Planner's art and place it. And then two in my book, this, this, I talk again more and more detail with that 